Now, the government's right to regulate weapons on an individual basis, well, that was an entirely separate issue, and it was never controversial. The colonies rarely allowed black Americans to own guns, even if they were considered free. There were laws against selling arms to Native Americans or Catholics. Throughout the 1700s, every gun had to be registered. You couldn't carry guns around town and certainly not loaded. There were gunpowder restrictions. In Boston, there was a fine for having a loaded firearm in your house or barn. Same in the 1800s. The most famous shootout in U.S. history at the O.K. Corral between Wyatt Earp and his longtime enemies. That was over Tombstone, Arizona's ordinance against having a gun without a permit, which even for cowboys of the Wild West was common sense. In most towns, you checked your gun before entering, you received a token, and got your firearm back when you left. There was no such thing as concealed carry in southern states. That was banned and the courts repeatedly asserted their rights to regulate firearms as they saw fit. And it was the same in the 1900s. In 1934, an old union...